In this video, we're going to look at how we can generate images using ChatGPT's DALI tool. So I'm in ChatGPT here, and I'm actually going to get it to help me create the descriptions of the images that we want to create. This is a great way to actually leverage both AI's ability to generate text and images. So I've asked it for three images, one to showcase creativity, color and style, the second, a mock-up of a donation page for a wildlife charity. And the third, a realistic thank you image to a donor who loves dogs. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to say, please generate a horizontal. So you can either create horizontal, vertical or square images. So I'm going to do a horizontal image of the following. And I'm simply going to paste in the description that ChatGPT provided to me before. And you can see it's created a really colorful, creative image here. I'm actually super impressed. <laughs> I think it's really nice. Now, once you click on this image, so just give it a click there, it actually brings up a range of tools. You can download it to your computer. You can see the full system prompt that it used if you'd like to copy and reuse that again. And there's also this little pen tool where you can actually select components of this image that you would like edited. So for example, you may not want a person standing here and we can simply select that person. And I'm a big dog fan. So I'm going to say, please replace the human with a dog. And this will then instruct the AI to actually edit that specific section in the image. So it's a really nice way to be able to tweak your images to get them a bit closer to what you would like them to look like in the end. All right, so it's finished processing. We can see we've got a dog in a t-shirt with jeans. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but you know, that's pretty cool nonetheless. So this is an iterative process. You need to work back and forth with this model to get what you'd like, but you can, if you'd like to, select that section again and give possibly better instructions. You want a realistic dog, you could say the type of dog in a sitting position with no um, t-shirt and jeans on. But we are going to continue on to our next image. So I'm going to say, please create a vertical image of the following. Now, this is going to be the donation page for a wildlife conservation organization. And this is a great way to actually mock up different concepts for ideas, for donation pages, for campaigns, any other type of ideation that you'd like to get a visual representation of. This is a really nice way to do that. Let's have a look at what we've got here. The text is a little bit off. Um, AI is not really good with text, especially ChatGPT's version. But I think this has done a really decent job as something to just help you ideate. You can see we've got a big nice banner there. We've got a donate now button. We've got a few different options for the donations. We've got your name, possibly an email address. And, um, you know, even looks like a bit of a visual representation of what that monetary values actually represent. So if you're just starting off and you, you just want to start getting ideas about donation pages, this can be a really useful starting point. Now we've got one more that we're going to create. And that's a thank you image to a donor who loves dogs. That could very easily be me. This one will make as a square. So please create a square image of the following. And we'll paste that in there. And the image has now been generated. We've got a very cute dog with a, a dog pillow and a dog picture in the back. It says, thank you. Again, the text isn't a hundred percent correct, but as a starting point, I think that's done a really, really good job. It's very cute. Again, you could take the select tool and just ask it to change that to a cat for a more diverse. Thank you. <laughs> thank you image, or you can just download it and go from there. So as you can see, there's, you know, really interesting ways to leverage this image generation tool within AI. If you don't know where to start, ask AI to help you. Just describe what type of image you would like to create. You can edit that, make it in different styles. You could ask for a watercolor or an oil painting. 
photograph. All types of different types of styles are available within AI imagery. So let your creativity go wild. Really enjoy this tool, leverage it for the possibilities that it produces. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.